Welcome back to another V Brown Bag Build Day here at Ravello in Israel. I'm joined by Amit again, and, and um, quick introduction, Amit, for the people who haven't seen you on the other videos. So my name is Amit. I am working in the virtualization group here in the Ravello's R and D, and my team is responsible for the Ravello's software defined network, the SDN, and the virtual storage. So we wanted to look at the SDN component and particularly unpack why it is that the SDN is such a central part of the Ravello platform and what were the challenges and what were the, the differences in cloud networking that you're trying to address with the SDN? Right, so uh, <clears throat> one of the gaps we had to bridge over when doing lift and shift of our, uh, scenarios, I mean, when we want to transfer workloads to the cloud is with that we didn't want the users to change too much their network topology. And currently, uh, the public clouds are um, supporting only L3 communication, which means only IP-based communication. That means they do not support VLANs or uh, ARP request or replies mm. or any non-IP communications at all. At all. Um, and this is, uh, I think, from the customers we've seen so far, this is uh, quite common for organizations that already had their virtualization environment to have uh, an entire network topology that is non-IP based or that has specific uh, rules or configuration that you cannot just reconfigure on the cloud. Because so it's, it's things like scenarios where on, on the cloud you have to use specific ranges of IP addresses Right. Uh, that may not match up to your on-premises IP ranges and the way those IP addresses are assigned is very different to right. on-premises. On right, you would have to change all your static IPs that are defined on the VMs just to match them to the, if, uh, if we're talking about Amazon, so the AWS uh, VPC, you have to define one subnet and you, c you need to change all the IPs in your uh, application to match the subnet or create multiple subnets and connect them in some complicated there's, there's way. There's no way that static IP addresses on like, on-premises have ever been coded into the applications we're running. That just, <laughs> yeah, actually yeah, happens a lot. Right, and uh, so th that's the, uh, the first problem, but we also see a lot of uh, requirements such as uh, VLAN topology, some complicated switch uh, mesh up topology uh, companies mm -hmm. That, uh, that do uh, like network, uh, all sort of network appliances or applications that are network intensive. So, so there might be something that's in a, a mail scanning application that, that needs access to multiple networks, or there might be something in, in access control management software that's mandated by legislation that you must use this that makes some assumptions about how networking works. Right, or uh, traffic generation. Mm -hmm. There are many applications that, that do that. So this is other. So in Ravello, we had to sort of uh, uh, overcome this uh, giant gap. So we had to create our own overlay network. Uh, so we uh, mimic the network from the on-premise environment, from the user's data center or ESX, uh, ESXs. And we want to simulate the same network with the same static IPs, the same DHCP servers, the same... Uh, Everything should be exactly the same, the same switches and villain topology. So the user would uh, literally uh, will not have to change anything in the network configuration inside the, v the VMs, inside so the guests. So they'd essentially reflect out into the SDN what they have in their physical networking. Right. And then just pull the virtual machines across and lay them on top of it. Right. So we support, for example, we support VLANs on switches. Mm -hmm. We support trunk and access port. This is a Cisco topology. Um, we support DHCP and DNS uh, servers and routers and all of those. All of those things are not allowed in, in most of the cloud providers natively, which is why you have your SDN. Exactly. I think that when the user, um, it's, it's a very different way of thinking. If you want to, if you're developing a new application on top of AWS and you want a firewall, so you can just use their firewall or their uh, options for uh, security rules or firewall mm -hmm. rules or whatever it's called. But when you uh, when it comes from the on-premise data center, you want your your firewall, which is already configured with all the rules and IPs, you want to, to just bring it as is. Once again, the lift and shift with minimal redevelopment. 
Right. So th we allow you to do that very easily, usually without any change at all. Excellent. Well, thank you, Amit. We will drill a lot more into the software-defined networking that's part of the Revelo platform in, in other videos and look at the functionality that you get. And so keep an eye out for those videos. Keep watching the V Brown Bag Build Day.